benign proximal position of vertigo bppv outer ear middle ear inner ear outer ear contain ear canal middle ear hammer eardrum anvil stirrup inner ear semicircular canals auditory nerve cochlea outer ear sound enters to the outer ear and reaches the eardrum here middle ear vibration pass from hammer to anvil and stirrup hammer anvil and stirrup vibration in the cochlea cause nerve cells to transmit signals to the brain here so dick's hal pike maneuver will be helpful in the patient who has bppv dick's hal pike maneuver have the patient turn his or her head 45 degree right or left and go from sitting to spine position while quickly turning the head to the side if vertigo and the typical nystagmus which is upbeat and towards the affected shoulder are produced there will be diagnosis of pp c v benign proximal positional vertigo So here is the test which we do our maneuver Dick's Hal Pike maneuver to do turn the patient head 45 degree right or left and go from sitting to spine position while quickly turning the head to the side 45 degree then from sitting position to the spine position a beat and towards the affected shoulder if vertigo and the typical nystagmus are produced there will be diagnosis of bppv what is the mnemonic bppv b for benign otolith now the tumor p is for paroxysmal sudden temporary episode lasting less than 1 minute p for positional triggered by turning in bed or reaching out uh, our head v for vertigo vertigo or dizziness is the main symptom what is the treatment 80% of cases can be resolved with a modified eply maneuver a 270 degree head rotation from the dick's hal pike testing position the condition usually subsides spontaneously in weeks to months but 30% recur within a year so i you have to remember anti vertigo medication miclizine are generally contraindicated why because they inhibit central compensation which may lead to chronic unsteadiness thank you